So this video is on the equilibrium equations. So now that we know what reactions are and what the degree of indeterminacy is, now we can look at the concept of the equilibrium equations. So what are these equations? So let's say we have a fixed beam and we have a person standing on our beam. So this person has a weight. So let's say this person weighs 80 kilograms. If we multiply this by gravity, we get newtons. Gravity is a constant, which is 9.81 meters per second squared. If we multiply the mass by the gravity, we're going to get newtons. So newtons is what we give a value to force. So let's say this guy weighs 100 newtons. So it's roughly, roughly 100 kilograms. So if this guy's standing on this beam, if we remember, we're going to have our reactions. So we have a reaction here, we have a reaction here, and we have a reaction here, right, for a fixed condition. So the concept is, if we have our x and y axis, this is x and this is y this is the y. This is the point at where our beam is fixed. So if we can, we draw a fixed beam here. So the beam will maybe it will extend in this direction. So we have our beam and we have our reactions. We have our reactions. So we have reaction there, reaction there. And we also have a moment around this point. So we have three forces that we can work with. Or we have three reactions that we can work with. So we can say, because our beam is not moving, when this beam isn't moving, we can say that the sum of forces in the x direction is equal to zero, the sum of forces in the y direction is equal to zero, and the sum of moments about a point is equal to zero. If we look at our situation here, even though this guy is standing on the beam, he's standing here on the beam, the beam's not moving. The beam's not moving at all. It's fixed here. So all the forces that are acting within this beam must equal to zero because we have no motion. We have no motion and nothing is moving. Okay, so this, these are our three equilibrium equations. We can formulate all our equations if we have this concept. If we use this example that I've drawn, we can say, so if we go sum of forces in the x direction, so we're looking at any forces that are acting in the left and right direction. And we can assign these. Anything that's moving to the left, we can say is negative. Anything that's moving to the right, we can say is positive. So if we look at our beam that we've drawn up here, this person is standing here. He's standing here and gravity is acting on this person. So he's not actually moving anything within this, within this beam. Something important that we need to do is define this point. So this is point A. So we can say reaction A in the X direction plus zero is equal to zero. So if we have reaction AX, we can assume that it exists, but there's no other forces involved. So RAX will just be equal to zero. So let's have a look at the sum of forces in the Y direction. So any forces that are acting up or down, and we can say the forces that are acting up or away from the ground is a positive, and any forces acting towards the ground or down is a negative. If we look at our beam, our arrow is pointing up. So we're assuming this reaction is going up. So we can say positive R A Y, and then we have the weight of the person acting down. And we know that this is 100 newtons. So if we go R A Y minus 100 newtons is equal to zero. So this is our sum of forces in the y direction. All we need to do is move this 100 newtons to this side of the equation and we find our reaction. So R A Y is equal to 100 newtons. We know that this reaction going up is going to equal 100 newtons, which is the same as this 100 newtons going down. So our final equilibrium equation that we have, sum of moments about a point is equal to zero. If we look at our plane, is a sum of moments about a point. We can choose any point that has a reaction. So our point is point A. And let's say that this point here is five meters. If you remember from physics, a moment is equal to force times distance. So our force is acting five meters from our point. So we can write the equation, sum of moments about A, our point is A that we're looking at. We can say anything going in the anti-clockwise direction is positive and anything going in the clockwise direction will be a negative. So if we have a look at our beam, we have a moment that's coming in this direction and our reaction 
is coming in this direction to counter it. So we have a moment coming in this direction. So these two moments will equal each other. So our weight is acting in the negative direction. So we go negative 100 newtons times five meters and then we have positive moment a and that's equal to zero so what we can do here is move 100 times five to the other side and we'll get our uh, ma value so ma is equal to 500 newton this will be our value of ma so if we redraw our beam we're going to have our beam cantilever beam with our person standing five meters this distance is five meters this guy weighs 100 newtons we have our three reactions one there one there and around here ma is equal to 500 newton meters our a y is equal to 100 newtons and our a x is equal to zero so now we've solved this beam and its reactions this really simple example and that's how we can use our equilibrium equations to find our reactions